This is a video about language, about written language, and about ways to get information in Japan. And in this case, it's, it's focused on the hobby of record collecting, but I'm also going to cover other aspects of collecting that information, of translating it, so that you can use it whatever your hobbies are, whatever your interests are, whether it's clothing or, or culture, anything. And so this video will start off with a sh very, very short piece about me 30 years ago and my introduction to translation in Japan. And the rest of the video is about record collecting and reading, reading records and how to translate the OB and looking at prices, but it also touches on some uh, real life stuff, household appliances and food. Please enjoy Rice Field Records, like and subscribe and enjoy the video. I'm a marketing guy and I'm a business development guy and 30 years ago I was involved with the first magazine that was published in Japan, created entirely on Apple Macintosh computers, desktop publishing, and it was a news magazine, and the news graphics they used came from Knight Ritter Tribune News Services. And at that time, USA Today was publishing in color with color news graphics. Those graphics were made by with software like Adobe Illustrator and Aldis Freehand. And to, to use them in Japan, they needed to be downloaded by modems, by, by dial-up modems, and a graphic artist would translate the English to Japanese, and that's how graphics were made. Very slow, very laborious, but in those days, it was a lot faster than using paste and markup tools that were traditional tools of publishing and printing. A few months ago, I picked up this book, Record Map, and I've shown it in a couple of my earlier videos. It is an indispensable guide to record stores across Japan, and because Tokyo has the lion share, I'm able to investigate and gain information about stores before I visit them. And what I'm doing right now is I'm showing you how I use uh, Google Translate on my phone. This is a bit of simulation, but some of the ways that some of the ways that the text is converting from Japanese to English is really how I see it when I hold my phone over pages of Japanese text. And in this case, I'm looking at stores in Nishishinjuku and Shinjuku, and uh, it's giving me uh, the same text that a Japan re Japanese reader would get, but in English. So I'm at a recycle shop. There's hundreds of these across Japan. They go by the name of Hard Off. They go by the name of Book Off. And they have records, vinyl records, and CDs. And I'm, I'm at the bins, and I'm just going through them with my phone, taking a scan of the, uh, of the OB, of the uh, back of the jacket, and I'm finding out who it is, title of the record, maybe, maybe what the pressing plant was, the year it was made, any details I can, and I just put it back if I don't want to buy it. But it's power that this technology is enabling something unheard of 30 years ago, right? And look at those little dots. The, the, the software is using the phone to find the characters to upload and translate. It's amazing. A group of stores, maybe 10 stores, will ship their records to a Japanese department store who will display them out on the floor. We're at the Asakusa Record Fair. Banana Records is from Nagoya and it's a chain of stores. Mark Bolin, it's a colored vinyl uh, from 1982. The translation of the, uh, of the tag says Rare Tracks. With Penny Lane, you often see them at record fairs and they have two grading systems at the same time. One is S, M, E, X, V, G, and G. Some of the records have different price tags entirely. The grades are sealed and then it's digits from nine to three. The Hank Mobley, the jacket says brown stains, slightly scratched, and there's inner tape on the jacket, so somebody, somebody replaced it um, from the inside. The Coltrane has got brown stains on the jacket and a few light scratches. The Rolling Stones. One can take images 
photos of Japanese language. And using Google Translate online, you can upload images to Google and download them in your native language or in the language that you choose, as in the case here with Mad Villainy. And it, I just think this is fantastic. Here's another one where it's West Side Gun. Just upload the image and download it. And same here with Tame Impala. It's really very simple. Any JPEG. Google will present the image to you in, in, your, in the language that you choose, and then you can save it. Now, it's not perfect. If the text is not clear and crisp, the translation technology will make mistakes. So it's hit or miss. This is a common device in Japan, a remote control. What I'm showing here is how on the fly, Google Translate can tell me what the many, many buttons on this device can do to control an air conditioner. A lot of times you'll go into an Airbnb in Japan or, or a hotel in Japan and the data is not there or they don't provide enough data. So they provide a crib sheet and it's just not enough. So again, survival out in the field, Google Translate and an air conditioner, a simple air conditioner. If you travel to Japan, menus are not gonna be in English. Here I am at a traditional Japanese restaurant and I'm using my camera phone to scan the menu and translate in real time. ご飯のチョイスが白米とマジメギです。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。